Hey, Barry. Nice ring. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's an exact replica of my mom's. Barry got it for me. Very thoughtful, Bear. Still better than you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm serious. A little bit of press. Hey, give me. All right? I promise I will bring him back to you. until we find Joe. I think he smiled at me. Meet me on the roof. I'll give you a head start. Please save my friend. He's a lucky guy. My best friend is always saying that, and he is always late. You're worth being on time for. Say that to all the girls. What other girls? Fine. That's what Eddie says. That's what everyone is saying. Please, will you look into it for me? For you. Thanks. can you do? He's just jealous. Of the Flash? Should he be? No. I'll see you later. Barry, did he charge you three times? Sorry. I had to work late. Um, so I heard that the streak saved a kid. Any comment? Honey, are you all right? Yeah, why? You forgot your coffee. Oh, uh... I... kinda went on a date. With who? The new editor at CCPN. Scott Evans. Your boss? Okay, I mean, it wasn't like that. He's... a really nice guy. It's just... I have a date with Scott. That's the editor? Yeah, yeah. That's good. No, I'm glad that you're finding a way to move on without anything holding you back. You deserve that. Yeah, I, well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without your support. It means a lot to me, so. Of course. Thanks. We just came by to see if you guys needed some help. Oh. Uh, sure. Yeah. We can always use an extra set of hands. Do you want to help me in the med bay? Yeah. Last night, I was supposed to go on a date. My first real date since Eddie died, but... At the last second, I just, I couldn't do it. Is that because of Eddie or because of Barry? I've noticed the way you've been looking at him recently. Is it that obvious? Only to a woman who's been through the same thing. You can deny it all you want, but Barry knows it, Joe knows it. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with myself, I knew. Just really handsome. It's about to go down. My editor wants me writing about the Flash and only the Flash. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I would just like to be thought of as more than the Flash PR flack. I mean, if I don't write something soon, I think I might lose my job. Hey, no. We will find you a great story to write about together. Okay? You know I'm always here for you. So, I'm screwed. No, look. If this Mason guy doesn't see what a talented journalist you are, then he's probably a lousy writer. He won the Pulitzer. Twice, I think. No. Good for him. <laughs>
Thanks, Barry. Having someone believe in me, it's a small, really, really big thing. That's for you. I thought maybe you could help me out, if you're willing. This is about the breakout at Iron Heights. Clay Parker. He's still on the loose, and we need to catch him. Why are you giving this to me? Because you're a good reporter. And the only one I know. Oh, thanks again. I guess you're my hero today. <laughs> the Flash may be the city's hero, but you, Barry Allen, you're my hero. I love you, Iris. Oh, I love you too. When we were kids, I loved you before I even knew what the word love meant. And then my mom died, and I had to go live with the girl that I had a crush on. There were so many times that I wanted to tell you. Junior prom, when I went away to college, when I came back from college, nights that we stayed up talking, all the birthdays, all the Christmases, but I, I never did. I just, I kept it in. After I lost my mom and my dad, I was afraid that if you didn't feel the same way, I would lose you too. That's the irony. I was so scared of losing you that I did. I know I've had our whole lives to tell you this, and you're with Eddie now, and I know that, and I know my timing couldn't be any worse, but I just... I couldn't lie to you anymore. Hey! Hey! One incredibly heavy cronut and one Americano with an extra shot. It's just That's the way, the way you I like it. it. Yeah, I know. I know you, Iris. <clears throat> so, um, what is going on with you? You're acting like Christmas came early. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I guess it did, kind of. Iris, um, I still think about you all the time, and I know you've been thinking about me too, so let's just stop thinking and start doing. Barry. I know, I know that we both have awful timing. At Christmas, when I told you how I felt, you said that you didn't feel the same way, but I just feel like, I don't know, maybe things aren't that simple. Am I wrong? Sorry, I really can't right now. Of course not. I, look, it's not like that. It's, just, it's an emergency. I have to go right now. Your heart should ache for me. Does it? You're not upset with me. No one did anything wrong. I really do feel a lot for you, Linda. It's just... Just not as much as you feel for someone else. Go get her. Liking somebody who didn't see you the same way? That was Iris, right? How did you know? It's the little things. The way you linger on her when she isn't looking. The smile you fake to play the part. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I mean, she's great, you know? She's adorable and funny, and we have a lot in common, but... But, um... I don't know. She's not Iris, I guess. You know what, we, uh, would you want to get a coffee? I mean, I know you're having a coffee right now. I meant like, 
at a, at a different time with me. Or it doesn't even have to be a coffee. It could be any kind of beverage, like a wine or beer. Or not that I <laughs> want to get you drunk. We, we could get iced tea. Do you like iced tea? Do, would you want to get an iced tea with me? Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah? I would like to get an iced tea with you. OK. Barry Allen, you're very cute, you know that? Yeah. 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 But um, you should try talking just a little bit slower. Uh, the girl that I've seen at Jitters. It's the girl you've been stalking for the last three uh, months. I haven't been stalking her. <laughs> I've been working up the courage to ask her out. And? And I did. <gasps> and she said yes. <gasps> oh, oh this girl just got the best guy. <laughs> Dad brought you inside, and you were in shock. You weren't even crying. And later that night, a sound woke me, and I crawled out of my bed, and I realized that the sound was coming from downstairs. I peered over the banister, and I found you crying alone. And I knew I had to go to you. I sat next to you, and you put your head in my lap, and I held you while you cried. And I didn't know it then, but now, looking back, I realized that that was the night that we fell in love. That was the night that we realized how much we needed each other. That's not going to work out for you. And you need to let her go, for both of your sakes. like us don't get the girl what can i say i got the girl